Hey guys, welcome to Tasmania TV and my collective haul for April 2017. Starting off with this bodysuit from Iron Fist. Oh, I fell in love with this a couple of months back and they have it in different versions. They have it in one like silvery skeleton print that is super awesome that I'd love to have as well. But this was the one that was my clear favorite. And you guys know that I love bodysuits and stuff like this. It's so comfy. I love the harem thing. That's totally part of my aesthetic. And I love that it's all loose and kind of slouches off of me. I think that looks really good. Pretty cool. It shows off my tattoos and stuff. And I purchased this off of eBay because that's where I was able to get the best price for it. And I've pretty much been living in this ever since I got it because it is so goddamn comfortable and yeah, I'll probably wear it like all summer. <laughs> Next up I have a beautiful sponsored item from a shop called Ancient Hearts. It is an Etsy shop and the address is ancientheartshopetsy.com. I'll put the direct links in the caption box below as per always. And they sent me all these little cute cards. You have all the information in the back right here and you can follow them on Instagram. They make lovely witchy looking stuff and this is the box that came for me. Aww. So it is a diadem or tiara with these little beautiful bird skulls, silvery bird skulls. She does different versions of this but I love the silvery one and it's a plastic diadem so it's comfy. And yes, this will definitely look better when I have more hair and stuff, but I still think it works. Like, I could do this as a midsummer thing instead of doing the traditional flowery stuff. I really like it. I think it's pretty damn cool. And the little bird skulls. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I've made my own bird skulls in the past. Like, for necklaces and stuff. And then a friend of mine 3D printed one and gave it to me. That was kind of the centerpiece of the crown that I wore to my wedding. So I really like that whole aesthetic. So this is super comfortable, again, because it is a plastic tiara, and yeah, very cute. Thank you so much. Ooh, and there's a discount code right here, 15% off your next order, and the code is down here. Can you see that? Ancient thanks. 50% off, y'all! <laughs> Next up, I have some items that were sent to me by a shop called rosegal.com. I hadn't heard of them before and they seemed similar to Shein and sites like that and I really, really love Shein. I'm super happy with them. So I thought that I would give Rose Gal a shot. They sent me four items. Uh, there was supposed to be a fifth one. But annoyingly, like three weeks after the order was placed, I get a message saying that this thing is out of stock and not like we'll replace it or we'll send it when we have it in stock, just you don't get it. And that's fine because I didn't pay for these things, they, they're sponsoring me, but I'm still like mm, a little disappointed because I really like that. It was a tartan bikini and it was super, super cute, very punky. So that would have been pretty fabulous to have on the beach, but whatever. Let's take a look at the other items that I got. First off is the item that I am most happy with, and that is a pair of shorts. These are black denim shorts. They have a bit of stretch to them, and then they're distressed down the entire front. There's no distressing at all in the back, so they're just plain like Bermuda shorts, but they're super distressed in the front, and they fit me really well, so I'm really, really happy with these. I actually didn't have any shorts like this before. I have, when it's this length, I usually have like men's shorts, like loose fitted, slouching kind of men's shorts, but I wanted a pair of tight shorts that are a little bit longer. The other shorts that I have are like teeny, tiny, little, very short shorts. <laughs> so I'm really excited about these. These I think will work well for festivals and stuff, and I think they will be cool together with details like suspenders, maybe a cool little cap or something like that, create a little bit of a sporty punk look, but I think you can dress them up as well. Maybe wear them with a jacket and look a little bit more executive, but still punk, obviously. Because this is my favorite item from Rose Gal. And then this is something that I was so looking forward to, but I'm a little bit disappointed. You remember like the old school kind of bathing suits that look like pajamas? Well, they have those 
they're not bathing suits though. They're little body suits and like a stretchy kind of jersey material. And they had it in this red and black. Obviously, I went for red and black, but I think they had it in white and black as well. And it looked so cute and kind of loose and slouched it off of the model. So I got an XL because I wanted it to be large on me. And it is tight and it's so annoying. I don't want this to be tight. I want it to be loose so that it kind of looks like I'm in my pajamas and like la 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 lounging around. But no, it is tight. So the fit is just not what I wanted it to. If I lose some weight, it will probably look good, but I am not currently trying to lose any weight, so, you know. I'll probably end up wearing it anyway, but I'm just so disappointed because this is actually the item that I was mostly looking forward to because it is so cute. I wanted to slouch around, like, with my Doc Martens together with this all summer and just be comfy but still stylish, so, mm. A little bit disappointed. The next item is something that is kind of out of my character. It's something that has sequins on it. I don't think you guys have ever seen me in sequins because it happens extremely rarely. It is a pair of high-waisted shorts that have sequins all over the front, but there's nothing in the back. I like high-waisted shorts and these are like super short ones. I thought this could be a cool way to take something as casual as a pair of shorts, but still like dress it up a little bit. And I'll totally punk this up with some boots and stuff. This is kind of not my style at all. It looks like just like a big pair of underpants, but I'll make it work somehow. I haven't gotten around to using them yet, but I'll find a way to use them. And then the last item I am completely disappointed with. I'm not gonna be able to use these at all. It's a pair of faded sunglasses. They come in different colors and I asked them to give me the ones that went from red to like the non-colored ones. And these are green, as you can tell, or bluish green. I don't wear that color at all. And also these, like the glasses, the heart-shaped little glasses, they're super far apart. And it looks so freaking weird on me. Like it maybe works on somebody who has a bigger head and the eyes are further apart, but I look like a freaking bumblebee or something and not in a cute way. So I'm not gonna wear these. I'll probably give them to one of my friends or something. And I'm disappointed that I didn't get the red ones. I really want red sunglasses. So I'm gonna go out and buy me a pair of red ones instead. And I'll probably get round ones instead of the hearts. I thought the hearts were cute, but yeah, that just does not work for my face shape. Those are all the items from Rose Gal. Thank you very much for sponsoring me and if you guys want to get these products for yourself you will have the direct links to them in the caption box below. I also quickly just want to show you two items that I got from Wish. The first is pff, disappointment size-wise. It's a pair of shorts, like stretchy little jersey shorts dark red with white details. I would have loved them red and black, but they always do them with the stupid white details. I don't know why, but whatever. I have these in black and white and they're awesome, but these are too small. I mean, I get them on and everything. They fit, but they don't fit the way that I want them to. They fit like a freaking diaper, like tiny little underpants. And I want them to be a little bit looser so that I can pull them down more onto my hips instead of having them up in my waist. I don't like that look unless it is for high-waisted shorts and these are not high-waisted. These are regular shorts. Ugh, so again, I'll probably have to give these away to one of my tinier friends. Super annoying, but it's Wish so it's really cheap. I guess you can't really complain that much. And next I got something super fun that I think you guys are gonna love. It is a pair of leggings and they're not any kind of leggings. They're Deadpool leggings. I freaking love Deadpool. That guy's fucking awesome and the movie's so great. And there's a lot of red and black going on in here, so my colors. And I just thought it'd be so cool to have these just to mix them with my regular clothes and kind of, yeah, just these are really well made to be wished and they fit really great. These are really true to size. And yeah, I'm really excited to wear these. I can't wait to wear them. <laughs> Please ignore my hair for the final part of this haul. I have a shit ton of stuff to do today, so I am multitasking the fuck out of this. So I'm just 
re-dyeing my red hair a little bit. So I'm just quickly going to show you two final items and then we're going to be done with the haul for this month. I'm a little disappointed because I have some stuff that I was hoping would arrive in time for me to feature them in this haul, but unfortunately they did not. So they will be featured in next month's haul instead, and unfortunately that means that I won't have any Shein items for you in this month's haul, so eh, you'll have to wait for those. Sorry. But yeah, let's just get to the last two items, and they are t-shirts. The first one I've already cut up into a tank top, because you guys know that I don't really wear t-shirts the way that they are. It looks like this. A red and black stripey and it is Emily the Strange and I love that it has a little belt and tie and stuff but as a t-shirt eh, it just wasn't my thing so I cut it up into a tank top and I got this second hand off of a woman that I found online in like this alternative uh, group to sell stuff second hand and then the second thing is a t-shirt that I haven't been able to cut up yet because I just got it, it looks like this it's black with a nice rib cage and it is from my friend who runs Portobellum. So this is to kind of help promote her website. And I love the look of this so I don't have an issue with walking around and being like a commercial pillar for her website because she's doing some awesome stuff. Uh, Portobellum is a Swedish online shop for alternative clothing and she's only been open for a couple of months so i really want to help her you know get things going so this is what it looks like pretty cool but i will eventually cut this up into a tank top as well because that's just how i roll that's it thank you for watching as always if you have any questions post them in the comments and i'll get back to you as fast as i can take care and i'll see you in my next video i'm gonna go rinse this now <laughs>